Welcome to Spanish Tax Calculator. Juan Carlos Marruenda here, a lawyer, a expert in tax and property law, construction law. We are pleased to uh, all of our team, TLA Corp, to collaborate with the Spanish Tax site in order to spread um, relevant and important information in order to know the Spanish tax system in Spain. But now we will talk about a Spanish income tax for Spanish residents. In the moment in which you confirm your intention to live permanently in Spain, one of the most important points to consider is which will be taxes uh, that you will pay as a Spanish tax resident. Uh, obviously, in the moment in which you became a resident in Spain, you have to declare for the, all the incomes that you have uh, obtained in the, during the year not only in Spain, but in the rest of the world. So, for example, if you became resident in Spain and you are uh, British or French uh, national, uh, in the moment in which you became resident in Spain, you have to declare the incomes that you receive in Spain, but also the pensions or the incomes that you receive from, from your country of origin. So, this is, one, this is why this, uh, this point the, the matter to know the uh, tax implications to become to become resident in Spain is so important. In the moment you are resident in Spain, the most important tax to consider is the income tax, also called land revenue. Or, uh, uh, and uh, the reason of this uh, site, Spanish tax calculator, is to speak with you how it works and the main points to consider in order to have a roughly idea uh, of the taxes and implications becoming a resident in Spain. Well, uh, in the moment in which um, the, the, this, uh, in, in our site, you, you may find a lot of information in our article that uh, right now I'm passing to you just to, to, to resume in order to help you to understand its content. Um, obviously, the uh, the incomes that you will be liable to declare in the tax declaration will be all the incomes that you receive in a natural year, which is from 1st of January to 31st of December of every year. You have to declare this, uh, these incomes in the, in the following year. So, for example, uh, the incomes that you received in the, in the, in the year 2022 should be declared in the tax return to be declared in the year 2023, usually before uh, June of the following year. Which types of incomes? Well, if this is obvious, you have to declare any kind of salaries, pensions, rental income, income from economical or professional activities, everything that you receive, inheritance, shares, interest, everything that you receive, either in Spain or in any other countries of the world. Who is liable? Here we enter in the in the uh, in the concept of of who has uh, the obligation to declare taxes in Spain as resident. Obviously, in the moment uh, the the concept is for all those who are Spanish tax residents. So who has who is uh, a Spanish uh, who is considered a Spanish tax resident? There are different criteria. The most, uh, the most common one is for all those who passes in Spain more than six months per year. <clears throat> this is a uh, this is a criteria in which, uh, obviously, in the moment in which you stay in Spain for more than six months, you will be automatically declared as a Spanish tax resident. So the Spanish tax administration will be in the position to um, force you or to claim for you to pay your taxes in Spain, your universal taxes in Spain. There are also uh, other criteria to consider you as tax uh, residents uh, in Spain. For example, for example, when you have the main economic activity in Spain, imagine that you are working uh, outside of Spain, uh, but your family is here in Spain, children are going to the school in Spain, 
um, your spouse is also living permanently in Spain. So even you are not passing more than six months per year in Spain, you will be considered automatically a, a Spanish tax resident. So you will be liable to pay and to declare your international and universal incomes in Spain because in Spain you have your main economic activity. So please take care with that. Uh, the same for the family, family nucleus criterion and uh, uh, the terminal specifications that you may find in this article. <clears throat> there are some exemptions uh, on the incomes that you receive that can be, uh, can be um, avoided to pay of, um, um, on the tax that you will not be considered. For example, um, benefit, benefits and pensions granted for acts of terrorism, um, um, uh, pensions for permanent disability, uh, etc. So I kindly invite you to, to, to have a look on this list in order to you to consider if one of the incomes that you receive could be on that uh, on on those in the, on that list. If if it was the case, then you will not, the, these these concepts these incomes will not be um, will not be included as uh, incomes in your Spanish tax return. Exempted capital gains. Uh, there are also determinate um, gain that are exempted for income tax. Obviously, you can uh, you can um, read in our in our article. Um, in the most important here. In, in your case is in the earnings exempted from reinvested in a, a, a habitual residence. This, uh, this is uh, one of the most widely used exemptions uh, applicable when you are a Spanish tax resident. For example, uh, if, you are, if you become a Spanish tax resident and you are living permanently in your property for more than uh, three years, uh, and you, uh, then the, the, your property will be considered in taxes in, as permanent residence. In this case, if you pass more than three years and you de decide to, to sell your property, uh, your permanent residence, to buy another one to, with the intention to live permanently, the earnings that you receive, the capital gains that you receive for the sale of your previous house will be exempted always that you reinvest this acquisition in a, in a new property. Uh, these, uh, these conditions to reinvest in a new property, if you are older than 65 years, it's not necessary. So if you are, uh, in case that you are older than 65 years, you can, uh, and you, you sell your Spanish permanent residence, uh, uh, the gain will be exempted of taxes and it will not be necessary to you to reinvest in a new uh, permanent property, which is the, this obligation of reinvest of reinvesting is just demanded to all those who are younger than 65 years. There are also some expansions, for some, some exemptions, for example, earnings or incomes from work abroad. And here we come to the uh, minimum amount exempted. <clears throat> there, there are <clears throat> determinate amounts that, uh, that there are considered as a reduction in taxes uh, for those that, uh, for example, if you are older, uh, if, you, uh, if you are less than 65 years old, there is always an a minimum acceptance, ex exempted of taxes, which is 5,550. If you are more than, older than 65 years, then it's 6,700. 6, and it, it goes to uh, almost 7,000 in case of 75 years or more. Uh, the same for the for the children, in the moment in which you have that you have determinate exemptions of uh, of the amount of it uh, of the of the descendants that you you may have, also ascendants if is some is a is if, if an ascendant is li is living with you in your permanent home and you are uh, uh, he is depending on on, on you, uh, they, they will be determinate um, amounts per year, which are exempted of taxes. But the same for disability. There is a list of uh, percentages and, um, and uh, amounts that are uh, not considered as uh, as will, will be used as reduction of taxes, uh, and uh, which are benefic uh, that in case that you are beneficiary, you can um, well, you can use in order to, to pay uh, less taxes. Uh, in relation to the, uh, I can invite you to you to have a look because there are uh, there are many. 
who, who has the obligation to present the yearly tax declaration? <clears throat> well, in Spain, the Spanish tax system, uh, in the moment in which you uh, receive only a source of income, for example, one pension or only one salary, and you don't, you don't receive any other source of income, for example, rent or any, a, a second pension or, or, or a second salary because you are working in two, uh, in two uh, companies, and your incomes are less than 22,000 per year, then you don't need to present the yearly tax declaration. It's voluntary. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, 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 clients, if they decided to do it, just for sometimes to demonstrate that they are fiscal tax residents in Spain or whatever, it's voluntary, but it is not necessary to present the tax uh, declaration. But in the moment in which uh, you receive two sources of incomes, uh, for example, because you have two payers, uh, a public and a private pension, this is the most typical, uh, then, uh, and, and, the, and, the second pay, the, and the second source of payment is more than 1,500 euros per year, then the total amount exempted of taxes will be 40, uh, 14,000 euros. So, uh, if you are not in one of, the, of these two uh, options, then you will be forced to present your tax declarations in Spain. Also, there are uh, other bonifications on acquisition, reform of permanent residence, depending on the uh, region, for example, Andalusia, Catalonia, that uh, they have determinate reductions or amounts uh, that you can deduct from the, the final amount of tax to pay, Valencia, uh, for example, in Valencia, a first, the first acquisition of a habitual residence uh, with uh, 35 uh, or less years, uh, they have a, a deduction of 5% that was paid except interest, in, etc. So, well, I can invite you to, to have a look on, the, on this report in order for you to find uh, the, the one the most appropriate, most appropriate for your personal case. If there are also uh, the possibility to, to, to make the declaration of taxes together uh, with your spouse, uh, and, uh, but, but a general rule, uh, uh, sometimes uh, is, is convenient or sometimes not. Uh, so we include here at the terminate cases in which uh, it's more beneficial for you to make it together with your spouse and sometimes it's better to do it separately. So we include here determinate uh, advantages and, um, and disadvantages to, to make the declaration together. Um, also, it's very important to consider uh, uh, you have a mortgage. Also, uh, uh, interest in, the, in case of mortgage, uh, uh, to, to we, know we consider sometimes to get that the, joint that, uh, the different options. Talking to, about the tax base, uh, obviously the tax base is all the incomes, salaries, capital, activity, uh, incomes coming from activities and uh, pensions, uh, etc., payments of any kind, incomes from capital gains and imputed uh, income. Um, so all of this must be included in the tax declaration of, in, of land revenue. There are some uh, deductible expenses, uh, the, for example, contributions to social security, uh, contributions to orphan or similar schools, etc., etc., or fees paid, uh, fees paid to unions, uh, and then there, there are also the terminate reduction uh, on, on taxes that it will be uh, considered. Uh, so, uh, depending on the um, depending on the uh, on the region also. So, uh, well, we have to say that uh, in Spain, the income tax, uh, the fifty percent of the of the dealing of the income tax is uh, separate to the and, and, and left to the uh, Spanish uh, different regions. For example, uh, Valencia, Andalusia, Catalonia, Balearic Islands, Canary Islands. The, the de dealing with the, this tax means that uh, the 50% of the, of the tax will be calculated and um, generated by the state, by, by Madrid. Uh, Madrid will calculate the Usually, the interval, the, 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 the tax rate will be more or less the same. In fact, starting at the end from, 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 from this interval, in, not only in the state, but in the rest of the, the community regions, or 
but each one of the regions they can have together uh, with uh, they, they can have the same deductible expenses that for example for for acquisition of a new property or or, or in case of age uh, disability all these kind of um, concepts can be considered in a different way by the by the community regions uh, here in this article we are talking just for the for the state the one uh, the, the, the side of the income tax calculated by in the state way as if there was no uh, regions involved because uh, this is not the intention of this article it's not the intention of this uh, side to you to have a detailed and confirmed amount of uh, income tax uh, to pay this is just no more than to you to have a rough idea of which will be uh, the taxes uh, income tax to pay in case that you became a Spanish resident and uh, for you to understand uh, or, or to help you to you to understand the Spanish tax system this is not uh, a tax service so um, we, we we have decided in order to give uh, a more understandable uh, <clears throat> concept to leave uh, the, um, the explanation of the of the Spanish tax systems uh, just in the, um, in the in the state part of the of the um, uh, of the tax i have to say that uh, <clears throat> we have uh, made comparisons between the um, the our calculator done by the spanish tax system and uh, uh, others uh, in which we have considered the different regions and the difference uh, we, we have found is less than five percent so this calculator works for uh, every, uh, every part of the of Spain in which you decide uh, you may decide to 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 what well, to, to 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 reside no so so uh, well so you can use freely this calculator in which I repeat the, uh, the taxes and considerations are all the, uh, all uh, specifically for the, the ones decided from from the state are not considering the different um, the differences from regions but uh, is is more than approximate in fact is quite uh, is quite um, uh, efficient the calculation because as, as I'm saying they will not be more than five percent of um, of, um, of difference between the, this one and the one calculated with the regions okay so once we uh, I explain this uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this point it is necessary for you to understand the interval of expenses or of tax rates in Spain. Uh, from <clears throat> talking about uh, uh, regular incomes, uh, we are talking about uh, pensions, uh, salaries, etc. This will be calculated from a, uh, from a, a tax rate uh, scale starting from 19% and going to 47 uh, in a determinate scale. Passing here, we will. Uh, and uh, we will we will see it with more detail in our calculator uh, system and in case you have savings for example uh, uh, bonds or shares or you receive an insurance uh, uh, payment etc this kind of uh, incomes will be uh, in an interval of 19 to 26 uh, percent the same uh, so how how are pensions taxed well uh, the pensions when you are uh, obviously when you when you are uh, a foreigner in spain the you sometimes the the your estate when you receive your pensions in spain sometimes these pensions are taxed in the origin with a determinate retention that your country makes uh, before the funds come. Uh, the funds of the or the amount of the pension comes into your bank account in Spain. These obviously these kind of retentions uh, will be considered and, and will be deducted from the amount that you have to pay in Spain. There is uh, usually these kind of things are uh, considered in the uh, conventions of the uh, in order uh, between Spain and other countries in order to avoid double tax um, treatment. And uh, for example, Spain has uh, these kind of conventions with Germany, France, uh, UK, uh, USA, etc. Uh, so, uh, in order to avoid to double tax for uh, the pension, the, whatever you have uh, or whatever your country has uh, retained from the from your from your pension and has been kept in the country of origin, 
will be deducted from taxes in Spain. So the, from in, at, that, at that point, this is clear. Also, as we were explaining before, if uh, if you receive only one pension, uh, you uh, you have an exemption of twenty two thousand euros from which you don't have to make your tax declaration. But in the moment in which you have two payers, uh, for example, two pensions, uh, then uh, and, uh, and and the second one is uh, is uh, higher than one thousand five hundred euros per year, then uh, you have to present your declaration when you receive more than fourteen thousand euros per year. Um, here, these are, these are the exemptions of the of the withholding, the retentions that that you uh, that you are exempted from the pension in order to calculate uh, the, the the minimum to 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 pay, and and also the amount that you can deduct from uh, from um, from the from the total amount. Well, we have uh, we have paid attention to the uh, as an example of the uh, of a case of pensionists resident in Spain of British nationality it's, we include here the double tax convention uh, in between Spain and UK you can you may have a look it's talking about pensions public pensions private pensions etc and um, so well it's, uh, it's just for your information to see how uh, how this uh, this article is is uh, well is showing for you with more detail all the, what we are saying. Okay, so uh, in the mo in moments in which we have uh, paid attention to uh, to the technical literature of the of the tax, we are ready to go with the explanation of the calculator of pension and savings uh, of the, the our simulator of uh, income tax in Spain. In case that I repeat, in case that you are a Spanish fiscal residence. Um, starting right now, the, the first thing that this this calculator will will confirm is is if you have to make this tax declaration or not. So uh, in, in case that you are one pay, you have one payer only, and you receive uh, less than twenty two thousand uh, uh, euros per year, you don't have the obligation to present tax declaration. So it is not necessary you calculate your taxes. But in, in case that uh, you have more than one payer uh, and then receive you, you receive more than 14,000 uh, euros per year, then you have to present tax declaration. But in fact that you have more than one payer, uh, you receive sources from uh, you receive income from, from two uh, different sources or at least two different sources. And, uh, but you have less than uh, 14,000 a year, then you don't have the obligation to present tax declaration this year, so it is not necessary you calculate your taxes. Okay, so in this case we go to the second uh, to the second step, which is here, and uh, uh, and then we move forward. Next, <clears throat> okay. Uh, right now <clears throat> we will consider the typical case of a pensionist, um, for example. We indicate your age range. Uh, it will be between 65 and 75. This will be important because, as we have seen in the technical literature, um, the word explanation on the report, the uh, there is there are some minimum exempted of taxes depending on the age. The same, if, the same. If you decided to make the the, the joint declaration in this moment, I consider uh, you, you will see in the report that in the majority of the cases it is not recommendable to make the joint declaration because it avoids other reductions. Uh, so in this case, if you uh, allow me, I will, we will not consider that. Uh, is, it depends if, in case that you are pensionist, there, there are not any descendants living with you. That's in case there is someone which is uh, 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 up to 25 years with no incomes, etc. You can, you, can, you can choose one of, the, of those options. In case of there are any ascendants cohabiting with you, you can also uh, uh, click on one of the options. If you have some kind of disability, well, so for example, one of the spouse with disability, the, the, there is disability up to 60, uh, 65%, so we can click here, and then automatically the deduction of the, of the tax will be, will, be, uh, will be applied. Again, if, if one of the ascendants or descendants uh, they are uh, uh, which are cohabiting with you. They are they they have disability. Then you can choose one of these options. So 
So uh, we, uh, here we find that the total amount of reductions that we have uh, in order to, um, to, to deduct from the Spanish taxes is 9,700 that will be a result of the quota directly a reduction in the quota to pay for the tax of 1,843 uh, euros. And we, we move forward and then we enter, we, we have finished the first part of the, of, the, of the tax declaration, which is declaring our personal situation. Right now we enter in the information about property. Um, we, in our calculator, we have considered uh, the option up to three properties information that will be relevant in order to uh, determine the incomes or the eventual incomes that you, you receive from your properties that are relevant, as I'm saying, in order to calculate the, the taxes. So then we go to property number one. Uh, well, I would like to inform you that uh, we have included three properties because uh, uh, usually you may have an apartment, a garage and uh, a shed. Depending on the, on the way in which these uh, three elements has been declared in the Spanish legal system, they could be only one property, for example, an apartment with, which has rights to parking, and in the parking there is a shed, so in this case there will be only one property, but in case that the apartment is, is a property totally independent from the garage, and the garage has an independent legal consideration with a different land registry number, with a different catastral reference, and even paying uh, catastral or EB or council tax every year in a separate way from the, from the apartment, then the carriage will be considered as a second property. So you will need to fill the information from the apartment to the tax in the tax declaration and the information of the carriage in the tax declaration as a separate property. The same for the, for the shed. Sometimes the shed is a separate, a, an individual property with an individual property number with an individual reference and paying council tax separately from the garage and from the apartment. So in these cases, we have to consider the, the three properties as three independent elements. So, okay, so let, let's start with the, uh, in the case of the, of the main property. In this case, we are talking about a house. The house could be uh, our permanent residence or not. We can be living uh, in renting and we can have uh, our house uh, we, uh, the, that uh, the house that we own it can be rented to someone else. But I will use the typical example in which the the, the house is the permanent residence of the pensionist. So uh, then we click here. The house uh, there is a house or garage used as permanent residence by the owner. Okay, this is the case. Percentage of ownership. Uh, we uh, uh, imagine that the 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 property it belongs 50% 50 50 on your name and 50% in the name of your spouse. Catastrophe value of the property. We go to the, this is the council tax bill, the EB, uh, where uh, it is important in order to fill the income tax return, it's very important to consider the, the valor catastral. It is essential. So you will need yes or not uh, to obtain a copy of the of the council tax bill. If we go to this to this bill, here obviously is, is not noticed, but uh, imagine that it is 60,000 euros. So, okay, we go, we go to the, to the file, uh, we go to the, to the, to the, to the form and we include 60,000 euros. Well, imagine that, uh, uh, okay, you are living in the property for more than six months, uh, is your permanent residence in Spain, but imagine that you rent it out to two months. We will, we will make an additional, um, uh, use of this calculator in order to show you how also it considers in case that you decided to rent or or, or the rent obtained in properties. So imagine that uh, 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 we, we, in, in this apartment we will leave it as it is just the main resident and it's not rented but in the second property we will not consider it as a as a garage, we will consider it as a second property that you may have in Spain in order to you to know how it works in case of you rent it. So I repeat, in this case, property number one is your main residence, is not rented, we will rent it out the second property. Number of days uh, uh, rented during the year, <clears throat> no one, because uh, we have decided not to rent, 
we have not obtained it any rent during the year. Uh, rental income obtained nothing. We have not to declare all these things because uh, this is permanent residence. But uh, uh, this only uh, you have to fill all this information only in case that you are um, how is uh, yeah, that you are renting your property. So in this case, we go to the rental income, and here you notice that obviously we have not. Uh, uh, include absolutely anything about rental income because uh, there is no rental so we have not rented out the property so it is it is there is no tax involved on that so for the main residence in Spain you don't pay taxes the same for the imputed income in a in a separate uh, tutorial we we have we have uh, explained that in case of secondary residences uh, the Spanish uh, system considers that the, even that the, the, the second property is not rented or for the time in which the property is, the second property is not rented, uh, the Spanish tax authorities, they consider that there is an income, a minimum income, which is the 2% of the, of the cadastral value considered in a determined way. We will, we, will, uh, we will calculate it in the second property. I will explain this to you later in the, when we calculate the second property, but right now just to you to know that uh, the Spanish main residence, uh, it doesn't, uh, when there is no rental, there is no tax to pay, and also there is no imputed uh, income because it's your main residence, so it, 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 and it is exempted of taxes. <clears throat> so, okay, we go to the second property property number two this kind uh, the, right now we imagine <clears throat> that right now we are talking about a second property that we have in the beach that we have bought it with the, as an investment in order for, uh, in order to be rented so we will not go to us yes, to be a permanent residence which was the property number one we go as a secondary residence uh, because uh, it's, it's a apartment that we have in the beach for tourists <clears throat> or to be rented Percentage of ownership, 50%. Catastral value, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a property in the beach, probably lower than or in price than, than the previous one. But uh, so we will see, for example, we will use, for example, 50,000 euros in case uh, of catastral value. <clears throat> and now we enter in the, in the section, if rented, confirm the purpose of the rent. Imagine that you rent for short term. Uh, because there are two options, long term, for example, for someone who is living as, res as a student or work or workers or, or a family who is, is renting permanently, or short term. Short term is when you are renting for tourists or, or someone in two months, three months, uh, one week, etc. For example, if you get it with tourist license, you should click here. Number of days rented, imagine that you rent um, 300 days is a very nice property uh, so uh, you have plenty of clients and, and uh, uh, total amount obtained by the rent during the, the during the year imagine that you obtain 10,000 euros <clears throat> so the corresponding rental income to your percentage of ownership will be 5,000 euros because you are the 50% of that property and then you can deduct a determinate con determinate concepts that for example the full amount of the of the council tax that in this case for example it could be 650 euros that you can deduct from the from the tax garbage collection the bill for the year was 150 you you are paying 100 euros as community charges uh, so uh, per year it will be 1200 house insurance per year 600 650 electric water and alarm you can even deduct uh, the, uh, when you are renting a property, you can deduct the uh, the expenses of the electric and water. Imagine, imagine that the electric is one thousand two hundred, but you are paying the the the, the, the water, which is uh, four hundred, and uh, and uh, the alarm, etc., etc., and everything, or uh, even the cleaning of the house, the cleaning of the pool, the gardening, security. Imagine that all of this makes a total of three thousand euros. You can even deduct in case that you have a mortgage. In Spain, you can deduct the interest that you pay yearly on the on the mortgage obtained by a Spanish bank. If you if the mortgage was was coming from another bank in, in another country, then it, this this concept cannot be deducted. But okay, let, imagine that there is a mortgage and you pay you pay this year 900 euros 
in, in, in mortgage uh, interest. You have also repair your uh, the the free the, the free share. Uh, you have repair also the the tax uh, sorry the, uh, the the washing machine etc etc with a total of one thousand two hundred euros per year. <coughs> you have to pay uh, you, you have paid uh, yeah, your tax advisor in order to help you to to declare your taxes every year and also you paid a 500 euros commission to your uh, to to the to the agent in order to help you to rent your property for example uh, so it makes a total of 500 euro of, of 1000 euros so you can deduct these professional expenses from taxes also you have uh, bought a new freezer a new freezer or a new washing machine with a total of 1500 euros uh, all of these expenses are, uh, are deducted from the taxes uh, the, using the amortizations the different, in different ways that this calculator is doing. So <coughs> this, uh, this calculator gives uh, uh, um, an amount that, uh, that can be prorated uh, in the, in, uh, uh, that, that can be deducted from the, from the taxes to pay, uh, giving, giving a net rental income of 600, uh, 636 and an imputed tax of 89. These are the income after expend after deductions that you that that you that you uh, the, the net income, the, the net profit, not the net, the net profit, the net gain that the the Spanish system considers uh, with the four five four thousand five hundred euros that you had um, obtained for the rent of the property. Oh, sorry. Your your five thousand euros that you obtain uh, from the rent of the property after all these expenses, um, uh, calculating and deducted using amorti amortization uh, uh, rules, then uh, it gives you that you have received only a gain for rent of six hundred thirty six, and also the imputed tax. Uh, you have you had the house three hundred days rented. But there were 65 days uh, of the year that the property was empty with no activity. In this case, the Spanish uh, tax uh, system considers that even that on those 65 days in which the property was not rented, there was an imputed income. And this imputed income is the 2% of the tax value of the property uh, and calculated uh, that, if, uh, that uh, for the Spanish tax system will be a generated minimum income even for the time that the property has not been rented. This time, this kind of inputted incomes uh, just are considered for secondary residences, never for the main residence, as you have seen in the property number one. Okay, so we, so we, we move forward. forward uh, go next here, we can, we then can we have to indicate the total that, uh, amount of to pension, make this uh, salary, too long, etc. We will consider, consider that on the year. Only, you, you don't, don't have to consider in this amount, amount, property number, the, uh, number one, the amount received and uh, as uh, the second the sale of financial property in the business that you decided to rent, earnings from property financial property, shares, bonds, etc. Here, our calculator shows you the amount total amount of incomes that you receive, the amount of salary that you receive per year. Property. Imagine that all the properties that you have, pensions, this will be the amount of income, income to year, calculate the, the tax thousand. of the funds so to calculate. Case, we go to uh, 25 uh, Then we move euros. forward and then the, the calculator asks you so to this, include uh, so the total the property that you receive for the year. consideration of taxes that you receive the income tax declaration euros the, of, here, uh, the, uh, the calculator previous pensions to you uh, that you receive uh, for rentals and financial pensions, etc., etc., so that the, net the, amount, the, that amount arrived to 30,726. This okay. is the addition the, here of the income received from rent. Here is the pension uh, or salary. Then we move the total and then the of property the incomes calculated and forward. Ask and then imagine that you have uh, uh, the amount of uh, financial earnings or incomes that you receive, for example, from shares, bonds, capital interest, etc. So in this case, imagine that you have sold some shares from some company and you have received 10,000 euros. So then you have to do it here separately of the pensions and the, uh, the rest of the, the salaries, etc. Then we go and here, this is the result of the simulator of the taxes 
that you have to pay as income tax in Spain. This is the tax quota that you have to pay for uh, your, your proportional part of pensions, salary and rentals. And this is the tax quota for savings and, and finance products. And this is the final quota to pay in Spain as income tax declarations for the year. Uh, it is not necessary to you to include security code because if you are uh, 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 reading or watching this, um, this video, it's because uh, you are um, using our free of, uh, free of, uh, uh, of charge service. So you don't need to, to, to include the security quote or to submit because the final quota to, to you to pay on taxes is calculated here. So in this way, we consider that uh, this is quite approximate uh, and we consider that the, the aim of this uh, site, which is to give you an idea of how much will you be taxed in case of you became a Spanish tax resident is confirmed in this in with this, the result of this calculator. We hope that this this helps to you to understand the Spanish system and for any kind of doubts or whatever we will be at your disposal. Thank you very much.